All right. Nutter Buster squirrel skinning lesson. Well, the first thing you do, you don't eat the tail. So you grab him by the back legs, pinch his tail, and you kind of get your knife up there from his back legs and the tail. Cut that off. Don't want it. Can't eat it. All right. Then you come to his little head. You slit his little rat throat. Take your bone breakers. You don't want that either. We don't eat squirrel heads. That's Kentucky you're thinking about, not Alabama. You come down to his little squirrel feet, break his legs. You don't want his little squirrel feet. You getting all this detail? You come to his little arms, you break them. We don't eat squirrel hands. We don't make very good stew. We're rednecks, not coon asses around here. All right. Then, for me to skin him, I take him right about here, alright, kind of halfway but a little closer to where his head used to be than where his butt is, and make a little cut, right, just big enough to get a finger in. You grab him by his shoulders, alright, mm. you take the pants off the squirrel, pantsless squirrel, then you get right there by his sternum, you pull on that a little bit, come back to his back, put your finger right there, whoops. Alright, take the shirt off of him. Now you have a squirrel. Alright, and then from there on out, it's like I was telling you, it's kind of like doing a deer. You can cut him right there at his hams, cut through that joint, find a bone. Alright, squirrel ham. Hams is the best part, don't fuck them up. Alright. Squirrel ham, squirrel ham. Shoulders. Come and cut as far as you can. Staying as close to the neck as you can. Get as much meat as you can until you get the clavicle. Cut. Boom. Squirrel shoulder. Come on the other side. Cut as much meat as you can off the rib cage. Stick to the neck. Get as much of that squirrely, squirrely goodness as you can. Get to the clavicle. Break the bone. Squirrel clavicle. Alright. Then previously, what we would do is we would gut him. But, since we met a coon ass who taught us the right way, you're going to take them shears, you're going to shove them up in his guts. I mean, between his guts and his spine, ideally. Right there behind where his rib cage starts. You're going to cut that. And then, taking care to avoid popping the squirrel guts. You're going to cut until you get close to his pelvis. Break that with your bone breakers. Squirrel back. So now you got a back, shoulder, shoulder, ham, ham, guts. If you feel like it, you can reach up in there and get the liver. That's it. That's all there is to it.